Welcome back to Grade 7 Math. This is lesson number 3.3, Find Common Denominators. And this may come across as a very simple lesson and you may be saying, why are we going over this? We've talked about this in previous years, but every year in Grade 7, I see at least a couple of students run into some honest difficulty adding and subtracting fractions that have different denominators. So it's a good idea for us to backtrack and remind ourselves that when we're adding and subtracting fractions, the denominators need to be the same. And so this video is just going to recap how to find a common denominator when you've got uh, two fractions with completely different de denominators. So far, we have been using diagrams to add and subtract fractions. However, we also need to be able to add and subtract fractions without using diagrams. Certainly, by the time you get to high school, you're going to be expected to know how to add and subtract fractions uh, without using pattern blocks um, or other shapes. You probably already know this, but in order to add and subtract fractions that have different denominators, we first need to find the, I know you're saying, well, duh, the lowest common denominator. Finding the lowest common denominator, or LCD, is an essential skill that we will need for our next two lessons. Finding the LCD is just like finding the lowest common multiple for two numbers. In this case, we need to find the LCM for two different denominators. So you may be thinking back to that lesson on LCM and saying, why did we take time to review that? Well, here you go. Here's an example. Find the lowest common denominator for one half and one third. Put the video on pause so you can try working out the solution. And when you hit play, I'll reveal the answer. So pause the video now. All right, let's see how you did. So to start off, the denominators are two and three. It's important that we recognize that the denominators are the so-called bottom numbers in a pair of fractions. So what we do, just like lowest common denominator, we generate multiples for two and three. And when we do that, we find that the smallest number that appears in both lists is six, meaning that the LCD is six. Okay, we're going to try this one out in tomorrow's class. So after I finish speaking, you're going to put the video on pause to find the LCD for three quarters and two thirds. Put the video on pause now. All right, once we have our lowest common denominator, we can write equivalent fractions. So for example, let's write equivalent fractions with the same denominator for three-fifths and one-half. Put the video on pause. When you hit play, I'll reveal the answer, but try this out at home first. Put the video on pause now. All right, let's see how you did. So start off with three-fifths. The denominator is 5, so I'm going to count multiples of 5. In my second fraction, the denominator is 2. So I generate a list of multiples for 2. Okay, I find that the LCD is 10. So that means that 3 fifths equals 6 tenths. Oops. And one half equals five tenths. Okay. In case you're wondering, how did I get that? Well, I think five times two equals ten. 
So if I multiply by 2 on bottom, I must do the same on top. So 3 times 2 is 6. On the other side, 2 times 5 is 10. So that means on top I must do 1 times 5, which equals 5. If you want, you can put the video on rewind. Go back and review the solution. Otherwise, let's move on. Okay, so you're going to try out this problem at home. You're going to write equivalent fractions with the same denominator for 5 eighths and 1 fourth. And then we'll take this up in tomorrow's class. So please put the video on pause. All right. Just to wrap up, after we review this video and it's two sample problems quickly at the start of tomorrow's class, I am going to be giving you a variety of questions that are going to test your ability to make common denominators for pairs of fractions. But until tomorrow's class, this concludes today's video.